curtains. This is this quad actually. In this video, I would like to show you how to insert measures. As please refer to my previous video where I showed you how to add and delete data models. So if you want to study power pivot, here there are two ways. One is you have to be adding the measures. And the previous video I showed you how to add into power pivot or data models. Please refer to my previous video also. And how to add and delete measures is an important one. So the other way is direct formulation in power pivot. So in the forthcoming videos, I'll be showing you how different ways and scenarios to create and do power pivot and add measures. So how to add measures is a big, is a simple question. Now, if I have a database and I want to add measure, if you see home, you can have something called some data, you can manage data model or you can go to directly to power pivot. So if you see, you can see measures over here and how to add this measure is an important question. So if I go and now if I click on measures or KPIs, now if you see that if I have an want to have a new measure, you do not have models or model is empty, you cannot create a measure manage measures. So it says that I don't have a data model. Even if I go to KPI also, you do not have a models so to manage a KPI. So what is the model is I have to have the database inside a uh, inside a power pivot. So if I this is to manage you see that this is empty now so we don't have any database here so uh, the previous video i showed you how to add to data models now this video i'll be showing you how to add to measures suppose i want to show you all the ways if i want to go to add measures i have to have a pivot table so if i go and insert and i put a pivot table and please refer to this i'm not be selecting this add this to data model so what will be my output that is the important issue. Now, when I do this without selecting this, please be very careful. I'm not selecting this here. So when I do OK, you can see that my data, you can see that it's just empty over here. I can't add any data measures. You can see it's just empty because I didn't do anything in the data model. So if I uh, if, if, uh, if I want to add measures, I should add in data models. So I showed you different videos on how to add in data models. So again, I will be doing this. Again, I will be going to, the, going to the data sheet. And again, now I'm going to insert. I'm going to pivot tables. And now I'm going to add this to the data model. So when I add this to data model, now you can see that I have column in this so this is showing that it is in the data model so now if i do a right click i can see i can add measures so this is the way if you want to see that uh, a previous previous one if I, the, the one which i created the beginning, so you can see you cannot add any measures you can see this is the difference now you can add slices and what you cannot add measures so if you want something to add measures you should have the things in the power pivot or data model so you have to select in a certain way. Now you can see I can add measures in different ways. So this is one of the way I can add measures. I will have this display dialog box. So apart from that, if I want to add measures, I can go directly to power pivot, manage, and now you can see. I can see that this. Uh, you can see my data is added so measures whenever i add a measure it will be shown over here or here or wherever it is all the measures will be shown here so let me show you how to add a measure but before adding a measure i will have to say there is some sort of differences in adding measures directly and through our data models and suppose this is a data model and I want to have a difference between uh, budget amount minus actual amount. So budget amount minus actual amount. So you are already aware that whenever I'm we add these things in Power Pivot, these fields will be, uh, these fields won't be highlighted. So you will have fields over here. So once you add things over here, all this will be highlighted. Please refer to my previous videos. If you don't add to data models these things will be highlighted so this is the one which i 
which I created. So it's already in data model. Other than that, you can check it without adding into data model. Also, you can you select this. If you have some sort of categories or some sort of database, you can see that the fields are selected over here. So you can calculate field from here. Suppose if you want to do this is with this power pivot is without data model. So I'm just showing a difference. So if you want to calculate actual budget value minus actual value, so what will be done is you can go to this calculate field and you can write a difference. And here you can do is budget amount minus actual amount and do OK. So you can see some more difference. So this is the difference over here. So if you want to see the actual amount and budget amount also, you can add that. And so you can see the difference over here. So this is for a normal pivot table. But if you're doing something in DAX, we can do by adding measures. So, so it can be done in this way also. So what you can do is actual amount minus budget amount you can add a measure directly from here or you can go to power pivot you can add a measure from here so i'll be showing you both ways this is the same one on the same so i'll be showing from here new measure and here i'll be taking number as currency so i can select it here directly so the name of a measure will be differences. So I'll be using the same formula. Actual amount minus main data budget amount. But the problem is, is this formula going to work? Now if you can see whenever if, if I have to select something. I don't have something called the sum total. I have all the other measures, but I don't have something called sum total. You can see I don't have something or something, but this formula is it going to work? Is the question. So you can see an error mark over here. So when you if you want to check this formula, I will be removing this and I'm going to check the formula. You can see this is an error over here. The calculation is incomplete and invalid. The formula doesn't work over here in this way. So, so let me keep it in the same way. But if I go to manage data models, and now, see, already as I told you, that the thing has been added over here. You can, if you want, you can delete the measure. The measure is added over here. You can see the difference same thing i can do in so i'm showing in three ways one is in non uh, data model x uh, table. please don't get confused one is in measures and what the other one is here so if i do the same thing over here so what i'll be doing is equals to budgeted amount equal to budget budget amount equals to budgeted amount so either i can select uh, this or that it doesn't really make a difference budgeted amount minus a c actual amount now let's hit enter and see the answer is coming you can see the answer is there again if you want to see the 
I'll show you this is already made difference too because we already have a difference over here. So I'll make this difference. So here I showed you budget amount when it's actually out. Now if, if I want to show you, I'll be showing you the actual main data actual amount minus main data. Oh sorry, main data main data budgeted amount minus main data actual amount. See both ways I'm getting the answer, but the answer I'm not getting for here. If I double click this, I can either delete it. I want a description. So you can see that I can get the answers over here, but I'm not getting the answers. I don't want I don't require to save it because the text formula automatically will get saved. So but the measures over here is not getting calculated. Is giving an error even if I remove this you can see I'm getting an error over here so this is a two different ways where I showed you with see you can see whenever we add a measure it will be showing you in the FX in the calculative mode but whenever I take a difference it is coming within the DAX formula so how to remove this and how to add this is what I want to show you Apart from that, I showed you three different ways. In sheet one, I showed you how to add the measures when it is not added in DAX formula. So that was when you may have been, when, when the things have been gone in this way. When you go to field sets, calculated field. So this area is highlighted. But once, when you go to DAX formula, this, this area will be, the grids will be closed so you can't uh, edit this mode and this will be open so like this in this you can see that this is open over here now if i want to add something or remove this and do something on that contrary all these things will be shown so re re create row based and column based so you can see my previous videos on this how to adjust this so now the measures even not calculated here. So I want to calculate a measure. I mean, my purpose of this video is show you how to add and remove measures. So what we have to do is go to either I can go here. I can edit measure. Or I can go to design. Power pivot and measures new measure. So this is a measure over here. Or I can manage a measure. If I want to manage a measure, I can see the measure over here. So the problem over here is the data over here measures are calculated on the basis of sum. So <clears throat> if you're going to type this, you can see sum. You can see that sum of actual amount and sum of budget amount, budget amount minus actual amount is not showing up here. The simple way what you can do is just add the fields over here let me add it over here so when i do this i'll be removing this i'm going to add budgeted amount and i'm going to add actual amount okay now let's see i'm going to new measure and now i'm going to add some now you can see sum of actual amount minus sum of budgeted amount. Numbers currency is very good. I can select it over here also. So it's very easy for me. And this is going to be a difference on. You can give any name or if you don't give also it's okay. Sum of actual amount minus sum of budget amount. Now I want to check the formula. See no errors in the formula now it's working fine so you can see that this was the error and this is they created it if you want you can delete this and now in manage measures you can see the differences so this formula is working if i see edit 
you can see sum of excess amount plus sum of budget amount. This is working fine. Same way when I go and edit this, I have made main actual data minus main budget amount. Same, it's a difference. Check formula. This formula is giving an error. So the simple way, is, simple technique is when you want to create a DAX, uh, edit measures and all, you should be very careful. You should add these things in this this way. So I I think this is, uh, you got the purpose of understanding understanding how to use measures and delete measures. So I'll be showing you how to delete measure. You can delete measure from here. Uh, you can just click delete and you can delete it here, or you can delete from here. So this is the way. One first uh, way number one is deleting. Sorry, way number one is going to manage measures and deleting this. Way number two is going here, deleting this. So this is the purpose of this video is to show you how to edit and create measures. And uh, the other way around is go to manage. And you can see, now you can delete from here also. You can see sum of actual amount. Sum means it has taken the sum. So you can delete from here also. So we are asking delete from data model. So once I delete from here, if I close this, it's gone from here. You can see this is the this is one is the error one. So there are two measures, manage measures. You can see the other one has gone. It isn't. So I showed you the best way how to create measures, how to add here sum of budget and sum of actual and create a measure. And apart from that, I'm going to show you one more way in the next video to get the right answer. I hope you like this video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you subscribe to my channel, please share this video. So many people get, get the understanding behind this video. Thank you very much.